All right, thank you, Rebecca. The Secretary of Defense is in Tampa today to mark the change of command at U.S. Central Command. Ranking military leaders from our nation and other countries also came to Tampa for the ceremony. The change of command at CENTCOM comes after combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan have ended, but today the Secretary of Defense pointed out CENTCOM is still overseeing a very important region of the world. News Channel H's Jeff Patterson joins us now live at MacDill Air Force Base with more on this important changeover. Good evening, Jen. MacDill Air Force Base is the home of U.S. Central Command, or CENTCOM. And today, some of the key military leaders of this nation pointed out just how important this command is to the security of the world. They hosted the event at the Tampa Convention Center with generals and admirals from the United States in the audience and military leaders from a number of coalition nations. Seeing Marine Corps General Kenneth McKenzie turn over the reins of command to Army General Eric Carrilla. To the new commander, General Michael E. Carrilla. McKenzie saw the end of combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, but the commander of the Joint Chiefs of Staff pointed out CENTCOM still has a vital role to play. But the fight isn't over here. Every day there's new threats this country faces, and there's always new challenges. And in this complex theater especially, everything from terrorism to regional conflict can rear its head on very short notice. Right now, the world is focused on the war in Ukraine, an area outside of the command of CENTCOM. But Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin brought up the war and how connected any conflict in the world is. Putin's invasion of his sovereign, sovereign neighbor is unprovoked and unjust. And the Ukrainians are fighting bravely to defend their lives, their democracy, and their freedom. Incoming General Eric Carrilla has served at CENTCOM before as the Chief of Staff under General McKenzie, and he is very well aware of the history here and the importance of the job. CENTCOM was critical on its formation. It is critical now, and it will be into the future. It was very interesting for me today to see all of the generals and admirals in the audience. A lot of stars on shoulder boards today, but also very interesting to see all of the military commanders from Germany, from European nations and the Middle East. They're present showing just how important CENTCOM is to the military security of the world. Reporting live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.